This is Jim Nalon, liturgical guitarist, and I'm going to share my arrangement of Parche Domine, which is a nice prelude for Lent. I'll play through it first and then I'll go over it section by section. Yeah, I missed that last, nice little last bass note there, but that'll give you the idea. Um, so, again, remember this is chant. So if you're a chant purist, you're not going to play it on guitar anyway. Um, but, so you, it's an instrumental, so I'm taking some liberties with, with the chant. <clears throat> um, let's go through the first section here. I put it up here with the third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string to get a little bit of vibrato. Don't want to have too much. So, um, that's pretty straightforward. I can play that all in one position. If you do want to get the, uh, the correct slurs, you would probably go on that last... Put it down in, on the uh, first finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And then there's a slur here. Slur here. Okay, then the second section. Now this one, of course, I'm harmonizing chant where chant doesn't have harmony. So, um, but again, it's just you got to play these notes very legato, these chords very legato. They're three note chords. So 
So practice getting every any chord change that's not legato. On that one, um, those last two notes of the third line there, um, when you go in with your on your on your right hand here, on this hand, you want to mute the third string when you play that last chord. So I'm playing the the bass with my thumb, the fifth, fourth, and third strings, and I just drop my my third finger of the right hand onto the second string there. Otherwise, you have that note ringing. Okay. Then the measure 29, the four, fourth line there. Um, on that suspension, of course, that's a, really taking a liberty with the harmony. Um, and that note isn't held that long. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's not as long as some of the other half notes. And, and again, you're going to want to go on YouTube and, and, and type in Parche Domine Gregorian Chant, and you'll see uh, and hear some good uh, performances of, of what this would really sound like. And you can kind of use that to inform your timing on how you play these. Uh, I would recommend doing that. Just I'm no expert on chant, um, but uh, that's a good thing to do, just so you know the where this piece is coming from. Uh, so the, again, measure 29. Uh, and move right into that. Next measure. And again, same thing there. Put that third finger, this finger right here, is going to mute the second string. Okay, then the third variation is an arpeggiated variation. And this one, I'm taking liberty with timing and harmonies. So, um... bass notes kind of light because they're not the melody uh. soft on that same thing there you got to mute with that third finger and then you go back and you do the second variation and then finally, this last variation is, is uh, just bass note and a melody an octave higher. And the damping is, is important on the um, the bass notes here, especially in that last phrase. You want to, um, when you go to the D on the fourth string, bring your thumb up to, to damp the bass. And then in that last, next to the last measure, you're gonna hit the E bass, bring your thumb down to the fourth string then to damp the D and then you play the fifth string and bring your thumb up and lay it on the E string to damp that. The harmonic in there, uh, let's see, that's uh, uh, starting measure 83. If you have trouble reaching this, uh, the second note there, if, 
that's too much of a stretch for you, just hit the, the one. So you could do, hit the first harmonic. So that would be, I guess, all I have for that one. Um, it's a nice, nice prelude. It's very, very Lenteny, very, very, very sad. Um, Parts a Domini, spare us, Lord. Uh, so that's that's all I have. I pray God blesses your playing and your service, and look for more videos on liturgicalguitarist.com. And I wish you peace.